We work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> Greetings everyone, welcome to the Bucket List Reviews, my name is Gibran and this is the review of Assassin's Creed, the film adaptation of a popular video game by Ubisoft and stars big names like Michael Fassbender, Maya Coutier and Jeremy Irons. Through a revolutionary technology that unlocks his genetic memories, Colum Lynch, played by Michael Fassbender, experiences the adventures of his ancestor, Aguilar, in the 5th century Spain. Colum discovers that he is a descendant from a mysterious secret society the assassins and amasses incredible knowledge and skill to take on the oppressive and powerful Templar organization in the present day. So first of all, let's get this out of the way. I've never played the video game. Even though I consider myself more than a casual gamer, I don't own any of the current consoles. So basically with Assassin's Creed lore, I'm almost a clean slate, which maybe could also signify why I can review this film just for its personal merits and not worry how much it's true to the video game. Video game films have unfortunately the worst adaptation in the film industry. Either the creative team takes the source material too lightly and does a terrible job portraying it on screen, or they're so bogged down on the references that it completely alienates the majority of the moviegoers. The only reason why these video game adaptations keep getting made is because they know whether bad or terrible, the fans would go see the film no matter what. Mother. You're alive. Too bad you will die. But since this project was being taken over by Michael Fassbender, who was producing and starring in it, this film clearly had the potential to be actually good. And being a big history buff myself, the storyline depicting the past through someone's memory always intrigued me. But the best way I can describe this film is, it hits all the check marks, but still fails at being a decent coherent film. It starts off with an action sequence, then explosion, character development, then again action sequence and a big finale at the end. Where this film clearly fails for me is having any depth to its content, so it's all pointless at the end of the day. Now obviously, Fassbender clearly has respect for the film's source material and he takes his role very seriously actually, but it somehow comes at complete odds with the film's absurd premise and every other performance in the film. Okay, let's look at the main reason why this film fails. The premise of the game deals with the structure of a video game. In the Assassin's Creed video game, you, as a player, control the character. If you fail a mission, you are reborn again so you can try and complete the mission again. So with the help of the Animus tech, you can relive and try countless times to reach your objective, just like any other video game. And Assassin's Creed somehow integrates that aspect into the storyline, which I have to admit, is really clever. But unfortunately, this premise does not work for the film because you're not controlling the character and they try really hard to get around this, which results in the film being a generic Matrix knockoff. But even if you overcome its obvious flaw, the film just looks so bland and to depict the city of Madrid as bland? That's really quite an accomplishment. The visuals are glossed with awful, awful looking Instagram filter and fight sequences are so poorly shot and edited, I really had no clue most of the time what was happening. Instead of focusing on the interesting 15th century Spain storyline, we spend almost two thirds of the film in a sterile lab, having everything explained to Fassbender as to what's going on. There's way too much exposition for a supposedly action sci-fi film. None of the characters are worth spending time with. Maya Coutier and Jeremy Irons are mumbling through their lines just to collect their paycheck at the end of the day. And the film ends on such a dull conclusion, devoid of any tension. I can't even imagine a video game buff enjoying this film. And it's really sad to be honest. Watching the first five minutes of the film, I really had high hopes for it and thought that this could perhaps be the one. But it's unfortunately devolved into a generic pile of shit that you'll likely forget right after you leave the cinema. Maybe there's a good video game film adaptation out there, but Assassin's Creed is certainly not it. And I'm going to give this film one and a half stars out of five. So, that was my review of Assassin's Creed. Write in the comment section below which video game adaptation you think is the best. And as always, like, subscribe to my channel and until next time, ciao!